I've had the week off work and it feels really weird to be doing this in the middle of the day when I don't really usually have the opportunity to do this in the middle of the day on a weekday so I feel like I'm like being really naughty filming this right now but I have had the week off work I've spent the entire week basically trying to sort my ceiling in my bathroom which will either be uploaded this Sunday or next week I haven't quite decided yet but today we're going to do a hand and everything update which is a project I've been doing I think since 2021-2020 it's been a long time and also usually at the end of these updates which I do every quarter I will always add on bonus pans from different projects or just like bonus pans from my collection that I get within the last few months as well um, so it could be spoilers it might not be spoilers it depends on when I upload this versus when I upload the other uh, projects as a backstory just in case you haven't watched any of those videos so far I basically am rolling in blush, bronzer, highlighter and eyeshadow that are all panable so they're not powdered and they are not uh, like loose powdered I mean and they aren't like liquids anything else can be panned so so with that being said I go from oldest to newest and um, let's get into where we're at so the first item we have got is my blush this is my Lord and Berry blush it's in a it's in a MAC container but it's not a MAC blush um, this has been in this project since March 2022 so a while over two years um, this is what it's looking like right now as you can see we have like the rings showing I feel like I thought maybe six months ago that I was going to roll this one out but the rings still be showing and no pan be popping through so still working on this one I have used this 175 times since I rolled this into this project this was not brand new when I rolled this in this is like my second or my third oldest blush in my collection and that is also a rule that I'm working through I'm working through my items oldest to newest and the only category that's not working that way is my highlighters because I actually don't know the correct order for my highlighters as I added them at a later point in my spreadsheet however all my other categories are in age order oldest to newest so this was the next oldest one in here I think this is probably my third one that I haven't rolled in here that's, I can't actually remember but we're still working my way through this um, which is insane so I would love to say that I will roll this one out ASAP but we are still rocking look at that look at those rings still nowhere near complete with this one um i'd love to say in my next update which i think will probably be in december potentially that this will be rolled out but i think that's going to be quite unlikely um so we'll see maybe next year <laughs> maybe i would like it to be rolled out by the third year that it's been rolled into this um because it's quite insane how long this has been in this project for but the next item I have rolled in is my Revolution Vivid Baked Bronzer this has been in this project since April last year so April 2023 this is a baked bronzer as you can see this is my Revolution Vivid Baked Bronzer in Golden Days and we can see very clearly like it doesn't even look like I have used this at all but I have used it 69 times in the past like year and a half or however long it's been so still going strong with this one unfortunately um I think this is going to probably even go for more uses than my blush like this is taking such a long time to make any sort of difference like I can't even tell if it's 
made any choice like made any difference maybe i can kind of see that there's like a more of a slant to the domed top of it but really it still looks pretty much the same no dip or anything as of yet maybe that'll change the next quarter i have low hopes so i don't think it's going to but you never know then in september of 2023 so this has now been in this uh, project for one year i rolled in my belgian waffle um bronzer and highlighter palette and in here i rolled in a highlighter obviously because i've already got a bronzer in here so i wasn't gonna roll in a bron a another bronzer and i rolled in the shade powdered sugar so in september 2023 i started working on this shade here you can actually see it's probably the only shade that's got like the most um disturbance in it um i've used it 39 times in the past year which doesn't feel like it's very much but when i'm working on several different i uh when i'm working on several different highlighters it kind of it kind of makes sense so um still a long way to go from here as well like there's no real dip as of yet it's just like disturbance so we will continue working on this one in july of 2024 so i think this has probably been shown in my last update i rolled in my poptastic um eyeshadow palette from mua professional and i rolled in the shade number 12 also known as sonic blue which is this shade down here and as you can see even when it's blurry we do have a pan in this um project for three uses only three and then it was rolled out so it was rolled in in july and rolled out in august so then i rolled in my next eyeshadow which was in my revolution makeup or makeup revolution ultra professional eyeshadow in flawless this is so old that the print on the front has pretty much all gone it's um you can't really tell to be honest that it even has it on there it's very very faint and it's literally like all of the um lettering like rubbed off but i can still see it kind of like printed on there very very faintly but anyway it used to have it in i think gold writing on the front but anyway so this was the palette that i rolled in and i rolled it well didn't roll in this was the next palette that was in the line um i randomly number generate the eyeshadow that i'm gonna work on though if it's a palette that's what happens so i don't just open the palette and then decide i do have a random generator that helps me decide what shade i'm gonna work on so i randomly generated the shade and that was highlight which is this shade here now i don't know how i'm gonna show you guys this i don't know if it's gonna show it's like hang on i might need my phone light here oh there you go you can see it there um you can kind of see it in the corner like right there you can kind of see it in like certain angles maybe i can't quite tell the screen's too small for me to screen's a little bit too small for me to show but you can kind of see it like right there we do have a pad in here um there is like hard pan on top of it as well which wasn't ideal but yeah a very 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 tiny tiny pan this took me 17 uses so it was rolled in in august and actually rolled out um, only last week in september so this was rolled out and oh no it was actually what's it say it was actually rolled out at the very very beginning of october so i'm filming this the day that you're actually watching this or the day that it's uploaded so I'm, what, I'm filming this on the 4th of october this was rolled out at the beginning of this week around about then happy to say that was rolled out so yeah really good 
quarter with the fact that I have rolled out two eyeshadows. I think my third one is not going to go too far long until I roll that one out too. That was really badly worded but you get what I mean. So the next eyeshadow that I have rolled in and the final product that's in this pan and everything project is this eyeshadow palette. This was the next oldest eyeshadow that I could roll in. Between this palette and this palette there were two grey like loose powdered eyeshadows which obviously could not be rolled in so I skipped those two and this is the next eyeshadow palette. This actually was going to appear in this video anyway because this was featured in my Deca Panning project pan and if you haven't watched my update from a couple of weeks ago this is a spoiler but I did hit pan on um, the third eyeshadow here as you can see we did hit pan on that eyeshadow but um, this has obviously got two eyeshadows that aren't panned and so I randomly generated between one and two which eyeshadow to roll in and I rolled in the middle shade, the number two shade. So the second shade, the middle shade, I'm going to be working on in this Peach Parfait palette to try and hit pan on and so far I've only used it two times so we've got plenty of time however I do know now after literally only in September hit and pan on this eyeshadow I do know how deep the pans are and like I can kind of see like how close we are and this already has like a pan like a this already has like a sizable dip in it so yeah pretty happy with that um this was going to be one of the bonus pans so we just got a two in one there yeah, we'll see how far we get along with this one. I think in my next update, which I think is going to be in December, I think it's fair to say that this will definitely have been rolled out by that point. Okay, let's go on to my bonus pans. I think maybe only one of these will be a spoiler unless you haven't caught up with any of my updates since July. Um, I think they should all be already logged on. So the first item I had in my project pan and it was rolled out in July and that is my Low Rock palette. So this is another item that I did hit pan on. Um, I worked on shade number 45 which is this shade down here and as you can see we do have a pan here. Um, and this was in my project pan in July so that was a few months ago so if you haven't seen that update then that's a very old spoiler anyway the final item okay this is gonna be the spoiler I guess so spoiler alert for anyone who is watching my pan that palette um, I hit pan on an eyeshadow in September post my pan the palette update so this is my pan the palette and the eyeshadow i hit pan on oh did i i should i think i can't actually remember if i have hit pan on this eyeshadow prior to me doing my pan that palette update but i hit pan on social light which is this second shade i hit pan on this one in september and i can't quite recall because it was quite soon or around the time that i was filming that update that i hit pan on this one it was relatively soon or like near that update being filmed so i can't quite remember what side of it that i hit pan on this one was it before or after i don't know but spoiler or not spoiler this is where we're at um so yeah we hit pan on this one so yeah there we go that is my pan and everything update and also my bonus pans that i hit pan on in different projects um i really love doing this project i think it's so fun to kind of like use my items and kind of see each item have like pans gradually growing in them um, especially my eyeshadows because my eyeshadows are like my biggest like face product like I've still got like 600 
plus eyeshadows in my collection like individual eyeshadows not palettes and things but like you know like these this is like 12 of those 600 you know what i mean so we've got a lot of items in my collection so any chance of trying to pan on them and get them closer to being finished i have been loving and like it feels so like fun and like satisfying when you get a new pan in especially when it's an eyeshadow palette that's already got pans in it as well that's also but equally as exciting anyway i'm gonna end the video here i hope you guys enjoyed this little update and i guess i'll be doing my next pan lifting plus bonus pans update in december so i'll see you guys for that update and let me know if you guys want me to continue posting these if they are interesting or if you would like me to do any other sort of project that's long term let me know and i'll try and figure out how to do it add it into my add it into my routine anyway i will see you guys in my next video which i think is going to be a vlog of me trying to sort my ceiling out or it could be another vlog that i haven't posted yet we'll see I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.